Hey everyone, what's good? We're back. Pillars of Eternity, baby. Here we are, inside the freaking cave. Survived the freaking, uh, what do you call it? Baywick? Soulstorm? Um, we're just going at it, man. Oh, they're in sneak mode. Maybe because I alt tapped out. Um, this is the the same exact session I'm here. of me sitting down as last hmm? time. I was just, you know, I wanted to play the game. It was a pretty fun game. Uh, hmm? I'm not gonna make two things about it. Okay, freaking Heoden. What's your deal now that you're a party member full on? Constitution, what does that do? Affects overall health and stamina? Uh, although not used much in interactions. Okay. Hmm. Oh, he has. Oh, look, he's a drifter like me. Oh, I didn't notice the background. That's very cool. I'm so glad I picked just my first name. Remember I was talking about that? Because everyone else is just on a first name basis. Hmm. How come she has damage reduction, but... I don't? Oh, is it because of my shit armor? Hmm. Oh, time and party five hours. Shit, dog, I haven't been playing. Oh, it's like in game time. I, I understand. Okay, what's this? Appearance? AI behavior? Oh. Oh, look! Holy crap, we can just change this on the fly. Yeah, I mean, why not? I mean, we it's still 79 of them, so. We're always. <laughs> we're always gonna be this fucking idiot. I mean, I guess if we wanted, we could go to no voice. Um. Okay. Now, I worry that um, the audio might be a little low for voice. So we're going to turn up voice volume to uh, 66. It was at, what, 49? Yes, save. Okay. Actually, before we go in here, let's give Hyoden a ranged weapon so he doesn't get his ass beat. Right? Um, here, have this bow, I'll trade you, equip it, nice. Um, actually maybe I should make that his primary weapon, because of how some of the attacks work I think. I think some always use your weapon in your first slot, I'm not really sure how that works. But, uh, there. His hunting bow is two-handed and fast. What happened to all of his stuff? You know, he was selling a whole bunch- Oh, I guess it's still out there. AI behavior, what does this do? Uh... Hmm. Hmm. That seems like stuff we'll make use of later on, if we need to. I don't know, I'm- I'm probably going to end up micromanaging a whole lot. I'm here. That's what I usually end up doing in these. The only game where I really used um, much of they'll never know I'm here. Those things is I'm here. Dragon Age Origins. Well, no, I guess all the Dragon Age games I used them where they had them. A lower level of the ruins has been blocked off by fallen rubble. Did I quick save in here? I must have because I ended the episode earlier. I look one some more crystals and stuff. So this is the ruin that might be picked dry according to what's his name. The late what's his name. Oh! <gasps> nice that took me far enough! Oh. <sighs> but what now? Jeez. We look for another way out. Storm has to die sometime. Um. Who attacked us? Glanfathers. Those would be the hut dwellers Odema warned you about. Look to be fangs of Galloway, who are the twitchiest of the lot. They go ruin to ruin, looking for fights with colonists. Poor Odema. I think he half expected this once we lost the main road. Oh, shit. The Glanfathans said we trespassed in the ruins. I don't believe that. Odema would never allow it. 
But as much as the fangs are hotheads, Glonfathens don't attack without being provoked. Either way, they saw something and got the wrong idea, or... She glances down the passage beyond. Or there's looters in here with us. That's not something we need right now. Oh, man. Um, what about everyone else in an arc caravan? Well, they're dead, right? You may as well ask anyone. Kalisha's lips press together, and her chin rumples. Her voice is faint. The wheels got hold of them now. She looks up. Gods grant them better luck in their next lives. Uh, what happened out there? Kalisha shakes her head. Windstorm. Of a kind they only get in Iron Glanfath. Not too many people live through them, so it's hard to know what's true. The Glanfathen word is Beowick. To them... It's the gods' way of reaping the souls of the land that couldn't find their way out. But they'll take a living soul as soon as a dead one. Still got yours? I don't know. I might be one of the soulless people. Huh? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, you don't seem too upset about all... No, nah, I wouldn't say that. She seems thoroughly upset. She's like a leader type. Yodin takes a step forward, and his knee buckles. And before anyone can catch him, he stumbles to the ground his cheek striking the time-worn cobbles. On unsteady legs, he claws his way up the wall and back to his feet, but his stance is shaky, like a sailor walking on land after a time at sea. Could, could we maybe stay here and rest a few hours? I've lost some blood. It seems quiet off to the left. There might be a place to rest there. You've gained an item, camping supplies added to inventory. You've discovered some camping supplies, you can use these to rest in the wilderness or dungeons, fully restoring all of your character's abilities and health. Easy difficulty allows you to carry more camping supplies, but hard restricts them severely. If you fully run out of camping supplies, try to find an inn. Most have cheap rooms available. Oh, shit. So if we're on Path of the Damned... Oh, man, we're really I hate shit to say creep. this, but we can't afford to stay put. Those Glonfathens were riled about something. Could be we got company in here. Looters will be armed and ready to kill, and there's probably a lot of them. We can't be caught sleeping in their beds. Please, I just need to lie down for a while. Then we can move as fast as you want. Maybe you didn't hear me. We are gonna die in here if we don't get moving and get this place figured out before the looters come back. We've either got to find the exit or a damn good place to hide. Shit. Um... Hmm. He should really rest, but Kalisha has a good point. I think we gotta just press on. I mean, fuck, if if he dies, I'm just gonna say, Kalisha, it's your fault. I, I didn't... I thought we should have rested, Kalisha. It's not my fault poor old Hyoden's dead. I mean, hey, he was a rogue. I'm a rogue, so... You know, there's two of us, now there's one. It ain't that bad. Alright, I'm signing with Kalisha. Kalisha's right. We have to press on. We don't know what we're up against. I, I'll do my best. Oh my god, I'm sorry, Yodin. Oh god, I'm sorry. Yodin might not make it out of this shit. Okay. Stealth mode. Except for her. Oh. Come on, we're not dying in this place. How can I help? This trip could have gone better. Yes? Hmm? I'm here. Yes, it could have gone better. Okay. Um, which path should we go? Pause. Bring up the map. Um, well, fuck. This... I mean, I guess we'll just go south. We gave Hyoden a ranged weapon anyway, so he'll be fine, right? He won't have to tango. He can stand back and... Ooh! What the fuck? It's a monkey! A trembling, sickly creature emerges from the dark, clutching a spear. Knobbly elbows and thin ribs show through its scaly flesh, but you recognize it as a Zorip? It watches you cautiously, breathing in ragged sighs. Um... What the fuck? So... I don't know what a Zarp is, but my character knows. 
What the fuck do we do? Uh, raise your arms and stand still, I guess. The creature cocks its head, its head, and approaches you. Soft clicking sound emanating from the back of its throat. Uh oh. oh. The creature sniffs around you and finds nothing of interest. It steps back and resumes its defensive posture. Uh, let's do that again. Okay, that, that's just a loop. Um. Man. Okay, I won't hurt you. The Zarb recoils, fingers still wrapped tightly around its spear. The creature cocks its head, approaches you, a soft clicking emanating from the back of its throat. Uh, put my hands up again. It keeps sniffing us, so I'm freaked out! Slowly back away. Uh, what the fuck? I'm here. They'll never know I'm here. I'm here. Okay. Uh, I guess we can't go that way. Oh, shit. The Eastern Reach is a dangerous place, full of lurking enemies and carefully concealed secrets. Enable scouting mode to move stealthily and search for hidden objects like traps and secret doors. Alright. I mean, that's what most of us are doing. Uh -oh. Look at the tiles. What are those symbols? Yeah, I don't know, man. It's over this way. Maybe we should all be in. Oh! Trap detected! Hyoden found some shit! Is Hyoden better at, at mechanics than me? No, we're the same. Found something. Wow, Hyoden, you keep finding these traps there. Okay. I hope my my space pick doesn't trigger a trap. I'm here. Oh shit. Oh man, I shouldn't have took bought a crossbow from Yoda. I want my fucking money back. A relief gem. Oh, it's I guess it's just for money or crap. What? Oh, it's a quest item. Um, Kalisha, take some shit. Yes? Okay. So, down there is the, the guy. Wait. Do you hear that? No. I feel like this is the way to go. Maybe we'll turn turn around. Let's go fast mode. These little things are making sparkly noises. Wonder who was here. See if they left anything useful behind. Yeah, we're not gonna camp here. Yeah, this is where we would come to if we wanted to camp, huh? Alright. Oh, more camping supplies. Oh shit, you already have the maximum amount of camping supplies? Hammer and chisel. Um, okay. I guess that's just random loot. A mace. Gosh, that sucks. I can only have two camping supplies, huh? Small shield. Okay, let's see if Kalisha can benefit from it, any of this. Hmm. Might as well give her the mace if she needs to swap attacks or something, right? 
because that's slash damage, and that's crush damage. Gosh, look at her booking it on the fast mode, huh? Okay, can we disarm traps or anything like that? Um, let's see. I'm here. Just in case I get blown the fuck up, I'm gonna quick save. What does this do? Trap detected. Oh shit, they're all traps. How about that? Jesus, this is spooking me out, man. Uh, if I click on this, does it disarm the trap? Oh! Oh, nice! Oh, look! I'm getting XP for it, too. Look there! Oh! Pig! Is the pig gonna trigger some shit? Look at this! Oh, man, I'm getting so much XP. Wow, this is great! I'm gonna be level 9 billion in no time. Good God! There you go. There you go. Look at this. They're all traps. Interesting. Wow, this is great. Holy crap, I'm getting so much XP. How close am I to leveling? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. How about that? This is amazing! Pig! Oh god! Okay, the pig doesn't do anything. Oh my gosh, I can't have this pig out. It's stressing me out. Sorry, pig. Interesting. Let's quick save now that we've uh, got most of these. In case I accidentally trigger one. Holy cow! We're really doing it, huh? Wow, we just got them all. Plenty of XP. I'm here. Oh, what's this? Just like the tiles. What? Oh, these? Or what? Would this be how you disarm the, the bridge? Normally? Oh, look. This mural must be ancient, yet the colors are still bright and vivid. It shows, it shows a procession of Anguithans from all the kith races. Maua, Elf, Orlin, Dwarf, and Human. They walk among pillars similar to the ones that span this chamber, each one topped with a flame. All oh, the pillars of eternity! There's the Almawa Human? Uh, no, probably an Elf, a Dwarf, Orlin, Human. Okay, and some creepy hands. Okay, we'll quick save before you fuck with this. Fire godlike. A three part symbol is inscribed in its pillar. An unlit brazier sits at its base. Could be lit if you had the means. Oh, wait, can Kalisha do mm -hmm. it? She has a torch. Come on, we're not dying in this place. No, she doesn't have anything We 
did yes. them all. What you need? I guess torches are pretty useful to have on you, huh? I'll have my main guy carry a torch, just in case. Oh, we can change our colors again, if we ever want to. Oh, we never read this tattered journal. This small folio is torn in several places, and blood has soaked into several of the sheets. One later entry is leg still legible, however. I can't believe my luck. A few rounds of dice, and I've got my hands on a genuine with an artifact. The fellow who had it said it was a pretty nothing. As far as he's concerned, he's not willing to go digging in some ruins. But if he's right about this gem leading to a hidden treasure, then that's worth sneaking past a few painted elves. I'll head to Silent Lee this morning. Then it's just a matter of finding this relief he was talking about. Oh, and that was the guy. Right. Okay, so I'm not sure what this did. I'm here. Maybe it disarmed the bridge. If I. Uh. Oh. Oh, a black ooze. Okay, we'll send Kalisha in for some fighting. I'll ring up a big smackaroonie. I'll have him I'm start here. to unload. Oh, look, Oh, jeez, they have ranged attacks. Um, Jesus, switch to your freaking thing, dog. How can I help? Well, that's bad. Ooh! Oh my goodness. You scored a crit. A crit is a better result than a hit, and they are more likely to occur when the attack's accuracy is higher than the target's defense. Attacks that do damage will do more damage on crit. Attacks that inflict status effects or afflictions will have increased duration on a crit. Grazes are worse than hits and suffer decreased damage and effect duration. Okay. Oh, great. Ooze plasma. Okay, it's just some gross shit. Certainly. Whoa. Two-handed weapon. Uh, turquoise, ooze plasma. I should have delicious hmm? switch weapons. Yes? There we go. Oh look, these What's people- What's that muck on the wall? Ooh, this big head is mucking. Um, viscous and oily. This muck clings to anything it touches. Whoa. Ooh, gross. A viscous slick of something dark and tar-like runs down this wall. The shapes and bulges in the ooze suggest that something lies beneath it, but you can't tell what. Use your water skin to clear off the ooze. I mean, that's my only water skin, but I guess we'll do it. Oh, it's a spooky face! You rinse the ooze away, revealing an intricate relief of a man's face. It looks like an elf's face, though. The sunburst surrounding it has chipped away in places, but the details of his head, from the tight curls of hair to the ridges of his pointed ears, still showcase remarkably, remarkable craftsmanship. One eye socket is empty. A gem fills the other. Oh. Yeah, we'll place the gem in there. The chamber begins to rumble, stray rocks dancing across the tile floor. Finally, a large section of the wall gives way. Oh, this is the treasure! Oh! Oh shit, it's an oozinator. And we aren't in sneak mode. Oh look, now we are. Okay, we'll 
we'll just give this dude all we got. Oh, it's immune. What's it immune to? Um... Oh, it's immune to being blinded, of course, because it's not fucking blind. Nice. Well, that was easy. We iced it real fast. I'm here. Neat. Be quiet. Oh look, Kalisha was almost detected Certainly. by something. Uh, ooze plasma? Oh look, and there's some sort of... A cloak of protection. A fortitude plus five, a reflex plus five. Okay. Capes and cloaks can be worn for protection from elements, from prying eyes alike. Many are woven with spells to provide additional defense or abilities. Cool. Oh, Audra, that's the growing stuff. Okay, who got the cloak? We'll give it to Kalisha since she's tanking with us. What kind of armor is she wearing? Medium. Do you have anything better? Mmm, doesn't seem like it. Okay. Ah. She's got a little capey cloak. I'm not sure if the sweet gem I'm here. was worth it, but hey. Does this go anywhere? No. Stay quiet. Okay. I'm just gonna sneak along. Is that there? It's like a path to nothing. So which way should I go? Should I go down the cavern or the appropriate looking way? I mean, shit, we disarmed the trap. We may as well see what's over. Fresh air in here. I think we found an exit. Sounds like the storm path too. It'll probably be some sort of mini boss creature, huh? Oh, a spiderling. Gun it down. Hmm? Neat. Wow, she knocked knocked the spider over. Cool. That was an easy encounter. Absolutely. So if this is the way out, maybe I want to go the other direction. Be quiet. We'll quick save again. Like, we may as well see what's over here. If it's certain doom, we'll just load our save. Oh! It's a Skulder Whelp. Um, we'll have Kalisha do a big smack attack, and then we'll both lay down some fire. What you need? Looks like it's just one of them. Wow, he iced it. Big time. Be quiet. Scooter meat. Or sc scooter. Scolder meat. Man, if this is Scolder. Where's Molly? I'm sorry. 
Um, another hatchet. Cut that looks weak. Could be a shortcut. Okay. Um, the crack runs along this wall from floor to ceiling. A light gust of air passes through. Uh, we may as well weaken the wall, I guess. You set to work. The crack, the cracks lengthen and widen with your efforts, but the process is t more taxing than you'd expect. Sweat beads from your forehead and your muscles begin to ache. Uh, I guess we'll continue. After several long moments, you begin to see light on the other side. With one final tap, several blocks of stone shift, then tumble loose, clearing a gap just wide enough to pass through. Okay. I'm here. They'll never know I'm here. I mean, are we, like, did we get a debuff or anything? I'm still sick. I can't eat these berries At once. or something, huh? Can I? What is this? My reputation is rational one? I, I could scout ahead. See what's around the corner. Um... Uh, I mean, you could. But also, I could. I'm here. I guess we both could. Ooh, it's another whelp. What you need? Okay. Time to move back. I'm here. here. Oh shit, there's a lot of them. How can I help? Come on, Kalisha, you can do it. Knock him down. What does this do? Once per encounter, uh, increases endurance. So if she gets low. Hmm? Bestiary progress is maxed out. After having killed most of them. A stunning scream. Um, they're like big goblin rats. I'm here. Shh. Ooh, an ear. I guess someone would buy them. As well, quick save. Ah, and it loops right back over here. Well, I think it was for the best that we did that, you know, get some XP. Oh, and here is a spiderling. Send in Kalisha. Hmm? Oh shit, there's a big one. Is that a hundred? Oh no. Ooh, 
let's see. Do we have any other abilities? We can... Oh yeah, I've got all my charges. Mm -hmm. Character's health bar begins flashing red. It's a sign that they may soon be maimed or killed. Rest an in or use camping supplies to fully restore health. If health reaches zero, the character will immediately drop. Depending on difficulty settings, the character will either be maimed or killed. A maimed character will suffer severe penal combat penalties and will die if they take any additional damage. Killed characters are just dead, and in Pillars of Eternity, there's no coming back. Alright, come on, Kalisha. Just survive a bit, you know. You can do it. Hmm? Ooh. Oh gosh, we're missing. Oh, come on! Yeah, jeez. Oh man, Kalisha's getting low. Oh, we did it. I mean, that must have been the boss one, right? What's this? Oh, we can't inspect it while we're uh, in pause mode. Spear spider leg. Spear spiders have long tapering front limbs. Okay. Good job, Kalisha. I'd be glad to. You really put your life on the line for us. Is there some sort of thing up there? Bats as large as chickens are strung in the web. Are they? Oh, it's just an RP thing. I thought I'd actually see some bats. Some chicken bats. Oh shit, look at this, a rapier. Uh-huh. Maybe Kalisha should equip this. Let's see. Average, fast. 11 to 16. Yeah, that seems good. Not a sound. See, there's the way out. But let's see what's up in here. Maybe some more bonus stuff. A corpse. With a hat. Helm. Uh, okay doesn't really give any stats on it. I can equip it. It... What? Uh... I don't think it does anything, does it? Yeah, my stats didn't change. I just look like an idiot even more. Uh, okay, Kalisha, you can have it. It'll make you look more fearsome for tanking purposes. <laughs> An urn with some gems. And I guess this is the exit. Once you get to the stronghold, the menu can be at home. Oh, there's some sort of man down there. Are we at Ceylon Lee? Oh. Older robed man. Four figures stand before an otherworldly apparatus. An ancient structure of chiseled adra and metallic veins. Ominous, looming like a silent observer. Standing motionless in their midst is what appears to be a human body, colorless as stone or ash. The other figures gaze upon it in what might be contemplation. From your vantage point, you are well obscured from their view. The figure closest to the machine stands out among them. A thick gray beard frames a face otherwise hidden beneath a metallic mask. His faded robes are embroidered with a runic language unlike anything you have ever seen. And he wears a strange black headdress with two protrusions that jut out 
like the wings of some malevolent creature. Oathbinder, bear witness. And see this man has kept his word true to his last breath, full to his blood's last drop. Guide his soul, queen that was, and regard it among your favored. Let his life by the key be his confession. Let his death by the key be his absolution. May he walk the world ever free of the crushing weight of the book. So is this like a funeral ceremony? Your brother has done his part, and you have seen the power of his contribution. I will accept no further hesitation from the rest of you. In the sight of the queen that was, will you fulfill the oath? Will you take your place beside your brother in the endless esteem of her memory that is without flaw? Step forth. And be assured of the great worth of your life's course. Hmm. Maybe this guy is the reason why the uh, Storm King, the Soulstorm, the Beowick, maybe he somehow sacrificed himself to this thing. Oh. Oh. It's a big old, like, Fabergé egg with a spout on the top. Oh, shit! Oh, shit! Oh, it's coming out of the crotches! Oh, yeah, I was right. It's a Beowick shit. Oh, man. That is some Fabergé. Oh! Oh? Oh, did we pass out? For an instant, the apparatus goes quiet, and the air is still. Then, all at once, it erupts with a concussive surge. Light floods your vision, and you are knocked to the ground. Your head snaps back as you land and pain wells into the back of your skull, washing your last thoughts away into the black unconscious void. Yep, we passed out. You open your eyes to a different place, another time. You stand in a circular room, grand and domed, its walls lined with adra and trimmed with copper. The style is ancient, but the chamber is unweathered. At the far end, a great pillar of adra pierces the floor from below its shimmering texture giving the illusion of boundless depth. Encircling the pillar is an apparatus much like the one you have just seen, but immense and multifaceted and intertwined. Your thoughts are yours, and not yours, and they seem to exist before you think them, and they are all questions, pressing questions, troubling questions, questions that must be answered or at the base of the pillar now, you see a man with a thick gray beard in ceremonial robe, crowned with a strange ornamental headdress. You know this man. You are walking towards him now, at a pace that is hurried, while trying not to appear so. You have something you want to ask him. One question above all. And the question spins madly in your mind. Oh, they got stoned, too. Oh, shit! Oh, shit, they're dead! Lyle, you awaken to find your malaise broken, only to be replaced with something far more concerning. Faint whispers are audible at the edge of your hearing, like a ringing in your ears that does not subside. Movement flits through your periphery, but when you turn to look, you can see no sign of whoever it was. You find your gaze regularly darting this way and that, an involuntary panic tick, or paranoid tick. If this is a sickness, it may be dangerous to go without treatment for long. The figures of the machine stand frozen in place, flesh and blood replaced by cinders and ash. The man who led them is nowhere to be seen. One of your characters has become fatigued. Fatigue represents the physical and physiological wear and tear of demanding activity on a character. It is most commonly received as an injury when a character is knocked out, but some scripted interactions will also result in fatigue if they are especially grueling. Fatigue goes through multiple stages, initially inflicting minor penalties, but growing in severity over time. Resting is the easiest way to remove the effects of fatigue, though some consumables can also remove fatigue. Yodin and Kalisha lie bloody on the uneven cobbles, their bodies twisted unnaturally in death. You are alone 
and far from help. Gilded Veil may be your best hope of receiving treatment before things get worse. Ooh. Your character has earned enough experience to advance a level. Click the icon on their portrait to level them up. Click the icon on their portrait to level them up. Okay. Um, we'll do a quick save before we level up. First level up. Cool. Um, oh. Hmm. What is this? So I can put one in each? Oh, okay. So this is the point cost to advance. I see. And then... So then the, the point cost becomes two. Okay. That second win ability seemed useful. It was under athletics, right? Stealth allows characters of any class to avoid being seen or heard. It's triggered automatically when the character is in scouting mode. Higher the skill. Okay. Um, I think definitely getting athletics up to one is a good idea. And we can bump up mechanics to five. That seems good, right? For traps and lock picking. And then we can go up and do one for stealth. These all seem good to me. Um scrolls for that. Huh. Damage reduction. Hmm, so at the first one we receive some damage reduction. That seems pretty good. This seems like a good thing. Right? And then from here on we'll just only do stealth and mechanics? Oh, goodness. Okay. Holy moly. So do we pick one of each of these, or just one out of all of these? I guess we'll find out. Backstab. This requires melee. We don't want that. Um. Wow, look at all this. Oh yeah, we can only have one out of all of this. Okay. This is a good one for us. I believe this is what we should pick. Weapon Focus Ruffian, because it includes pistols. Um... Uh... Hold the line. Trains the character in new defensive strategies, increasing his or her engagement limit by one. What is that? Engagement occurs any time a character... Okay. Oh, this is, um... So that way when you're in melee with dudes, they won't leave melee. So it's good for tanks. Well, they can leave melee, but they'll be punished for it. it increases reflex... Hmm. Utility? Fast runner? Wow. Quick switch. Weapon change recovery.
plenty of good stuff here, I think. Which one did it register us as having taken? Oh, I guess whichever one I've clicked on last. Hmm. Oh, this is a passive effect. It seems like our best bet will be Ruffian. Hmm. I wonder. Hmm. Marksman seems good, too. What else have we got here? It seems like these are from other classes as well. Like missiles? I don't get that. Is this like multi-classing or something? I think the, the best choice is Ruffian. Weapon focus Ruffian for our pistol bonus. Doing it! Um, there we are with our stupid looking outfit. After leveling a character up, you may want to review their statistics. Open the character's sheet to see their attributes, skills, abilities, and talents in greater detail. Um, oh, it does the thing where, like, when you level up, it doesn't start down here. It's just, like, it keeps going up and up, if that makes any sense. Okay. Um, hmm. All this seems good. Right? Okay. So we've leveled, and our friends are all dead. Wow. Um, hmm. I guess we'll loot our friends' bodies. Jeez, poor Kalisha and Hyoden. I like them. I wonder if Hyoden could have died earlier as well. I don't like that. Oh, look, it's hard to target them. Right? Oh, jeez. Oh. Uh huh. Okay. All their stuff went into my stash, I guess. I'll equip that cloak. Hmm. This dagger I'll unequip. We have bonuses for sabers, right? We'll have an offhand torch as well. That seemed useful. Quick items. Crafting. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, my God. Whoa, it costs money to craft. Um. Hmm, the Skulder Meat is a quest item. Well, okay. I guess that'll do it. Gosh, look at our friends. They're all naked. Quietly now. Uh, hmm. Actually, you know what? I guess this is a good time to uh, end the episode. When we come back, we will figure out what the fuck's going on, hopefully get to town and not 
piss ourselves. Right? Got a level. Level 2, baby. Oh, look, what's this? Major fatigue. Okay. Um, peace out, everybody. Thank you.